What's up y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to dye your eyebrows, tinge your eyebrows, whatever you wanna call it, for a dollar, okay? So I did this video before where I showed you guys um, how to tint your eyebrows or dye your eyebrows and the box that I used was like a Revlon box and I believe those are like $2.94. So I was in Dollar Tree and I've been really curious about seeing if these little dyes and stuff really last. So the color that I got is number one, which is just black, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to tint your brows. Starting this video now, let's see. Let's see if this is gonna work. So let's get started. Okay, so just opening up the box, I have this Color Easy color cream in there. And then you have your developer your instructions and I'm assuming these are gloves let's see you might want to use um, you might want to consider using your own gloves so it gives you two gloves okay got my gloves on so I'm just opening up my contents okay and you just want to squeeze it in And you don't need all of this, to be honest. Um, I don't even, oh, I'm gonna be dying. I'm probably gonna be taking my quick weave out later on. And most likely, I'm gonna be dying my hair black, so I'm just gonna save this for later. And I do have another, um, I have two boxes, so I feel like my hair needs to be dyed. So you just wanna shake it up. So I've been um, trying to figure out what type of videos and content that you guys like. That's why I kind of took a step back for a little bit uh, just to see like what it is y'all like, you know, and get this hair dye off the table. So yeah, I just wanted to know like what it is y'all like when it comes to my content. A lot of you guys came from, I'm going to let this sit for about three minutes. So. A lot of you guys came to my channel from that hair video where I did the 30 inch ponytail and I feel like now I feel like I have to do hair content all the time just so you guys can actually enjoy what you're watching but I like to do a lot of other things so I like to do makeup I love to do hair I love to do nails like I have businesses on the side so what is it that y'all want to see like I really want y'all to stop being mute about the content that you guys want to see like let me know but I do appreciate when I do the votes you guys do tell me what it is you want to see and nine times out of ten it's a hair video so um, I just want you guys to work with me give me a little versatility allow me to have versatility on my channel it will still be great content so I always strive for great content so anyways let me stop rambling um, like I said we're gonna let this sit and we're gonna come right back but um, on another note I'm gonna do another video after this and it's gonna be a makeup look and I had found these really cute little face jewels and stuff that I kind of want to play with I have like these little teardrop face gems and I got this all these from Target and I caught two of them on sale and these are like metallic freckles like I just think I definitely want to play around with something like this I have not done a makeup tutorial in the longest so I got a lot of products that I'm gonna try so make sure you click on that next video I'll take the box like I just like to you probably need a spatula for this like for sanitary purposes but we um, not gonna do all that so I just put, I don't know if y'all can see it, I just squirt some of that on the bottle. And you wanna take the same brow, angled brow brush that you use to apply your brows. So I have a couple of those. They're, um, it's a spoolie at the end and it has an arch, I mean, a, and this is a very small angled eyeliner brush. So I'm going to be taking that. I don't have any Vaseline. I'm going to brush my brows up. They're, like my brows are not filled in or anything like that and what you want to do like I like to pinch to make it very thin so I can get like hair like strokes and then I just dip it in this 
dip it into the product very, very lightly at first. And then, oh, I got eye boogers, y'all ain't even tell me. Then I really pack it on in the middle because that's like the darkest spot where the, the arch should be the darkest spot. It's supposed to be gradual. Pack it on a little more. And it hasn't fully oxidized yet. I guess that's the proper word. Yes, y'all struggling over here. So it hasn't oxidized yet but hopefully it will get as black as the Revlon color did. So I'm just gonna move on to the other side. Now naturally this eyebrow kind of has more, it's kind of like longer. I always have to draw a little bit, a little bit of hairs right here in the front because I have none right there. So, and now I'm just gonna go over both of them one more time. Okay, so typically I leave this I leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to come back in about five minutes, let you guys know if it darkened or just let you guys know if it darkened or not. And if it did, you guys will see. So let's just wait about 15, 20 minutes and I'll come back. Okay, can I say something? Um... This brow is really burning. Like at this point, I just wanna cut this and take this off my face. Like, to be honest, I don't know why it's burning. I don't know if I scratched my brow before. Like, you know when you get a relaxer, you're not supposed to scratch your scalp. I don't know if that's what's going on or not, but I can say this is burning. It's burning. So, I mean, it's like period, it's like sporadically. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes and see what happens. Lord Jesus, please let my brows be intact when I take off this dye. Okay, so it definitely darkened. It definitely got a little bit deeper. So what I wanna do is just remove it. So all I'm gonna do is take a baby wipe, just a baby wipe and simply wipe it off, wipe it off and you're done. So let me get a mirror. Yeah, so just gently wipe it. And then you'll have to like kind of shape the front a little bit, get a little bit of the product off because it can get a little harsh at the front. Maybe like in a couple days, the front will fade a little bit. And it kind of looks like I filled my brows in with the pencil versus, I don't know. Let me just get a spoolie. I'm using my Morphe. No, this is not Morphe. So used to using Morphe brushes. This is the AOA Studio um, E119 brush and it's literally just a spoolie. So I'm just brushing my hairs up and down and I mean it's okay like there are some spots in there that kind of got 
I don't know it's not as much there wasn't it wasn't as much product like on this piece and this piece but that's mainly the pieces that I kind of packed on but maybe I can just I can go back in for a second coat um, like right here and right here but we ain't even gonna do that today sis so this is basically the look I hope you guys enjoyed this um, for a dollar for a dollar it's not bad like if you just needed something if it was like an emergency girl then I would definitely get it because it was a dollar okay now as far as quality I feel like the Revlon boxes or any other real brow tint boxes would get you um, the desired look I mean it's not bad it looks natural but I do like for it to be a little bit darker here here and here like like from the middle on to the tail like it has to be like a gradient ombre uh, ombre effect so that's basically it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys uh, want more videos like this also don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to ring that bell don't forget to ring that bell and also <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye